Hey there, welcome to the Thursday edition of the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Glad you could join me today. Coming up on today's show, uh, Charlton, West Virginia police, uh, well, they knew there was a problem with drinking and driving during happy hour. We've got that on our Brain on Drugs story. Uh, money can buy happiness, but there is a catch. I'll explain uh, what I mean by that. Uh, also, uh, a man literally stuck in a life of crime in today's moment of duh, literally stuck. You know, we all know that uh, the drinking and driving is dangerous. Almost as dangerous, though, is thinking and driving. I'll have details on that. Uh, there's going to be a solar eclipse, and I got some details on what exactly it's going to look like here in our area. Also, ladies, if you, uh, if you just can't get enough coffee, there's a lipstick just for you. I will tell you about that. Uh, smokers, singers, and houseplants, they all make it in today's Weird Holidays coming up next. It is the Darren Marlar Radio Show, so tune up your tweeters and we'll pop your ear puzzles. And now another useless fact. Laughter really is contagious. Merely hearing someone else laugh activates the region in your brain involved in vocalizing, promoting actual chuckles. Huh. You know, maybe I should start doing this show with a laugh track. <laughs> It's the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Let's take a look at today's weird, wacky, strange, zany, odd, bizarre, quirky, unusual holidays. Today's Thursday, July 27th. You now have 150 shopping days until Christmas. Today is Over the Moon Night, the night each year when legend says cows get really jumpy. Uh, the weird part is when the dog laughs after watching the cow and then the dinnerware runs off for no apparent reason. Uh, there is, uh, this is No Smoking Day. It was on this day in 1965, President Lyndon Johnson signed legislation requiring cigarette packages and ads to display a health warning from the U.S. Surgeon General. I mean, a good thing, too, right? I mean, because before that, people had no idea that sucking thick black smoke into their lungs might be bad for you. Uh, today's Form a Company Quartet Day. It's a day to find out if your co-workers who like to sing really can sing. Or you can do what we're doing here at the radio station. You can just take the safe route and pay them not to sing. Uh, today is uh, – this one I just – I don't understand this one at all. Today is Take Your House Plants for a Walk Day. Uh, yeah, okay, well, don't forget the leash. I mean, you don't want your fern running out into traffic. And it's Walk on Stilts Day. Maybe you can do that while uh, taking your house plant out for a walk. Well, I might not know how to tango, but I know how to man dance. The Darren Marlar. I think you're a little confused here. Bring it, meat. Radio show. If you'd like to listen to past shows, uh, get to my blog, uh, see other videos I create on YouTube, like my daily dose of weird news, weird darkness, and everything else that I do, well, I do have a mobile app which you can get to in your phone app store. Just do a quick search for Marlar House. It's a free mobile app. It's available for Apple and Android. Just do a search for Marlar House. Well, there's going to be a, uh, a solar eclipse on August 21st. You probably already knew about that. So what are you going to see? Well, I mean, exactly what are you going to see? Because, you know, it's, it's going to be a little bit different in each part of North America as to what, you know, what the angle is. Well, there's a free tool from Vox that shows you what to expect. You can see exactly what the eclipse is going to look like right here in our area in my blog. I've posted it at DarrenMarlar.com if you want to check it out. Uh, that's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Well, ladies, if you just can't get enough coffee, there is a lipstick just for you. I'll tell you about that here right around the corner. First, though, doctors recommend eight solid hours of sleep each night. You know, but workers, they're not clocking it in. This sleep, this lack of sleep, it's, it's leaving employees less productive, unmotivated, and more agitated with coworkers. So who is to blame? Well, believe it or not, the answer is work. Your job is to blame. A survey on sleep and the U.S. workplace from CareerBuilder, it reports that 58 percent of 32,000 workers surveyed said they weren't getting enough sleep, 61 percent said that sleep deprivation did affect their work, and for some, it is a vicious cycle, too. 44 percent of workers said that just thinking about work kept them up at night. Wow! So you know, I guess you could quit your job 
but then you'd just be up all night wondering about how you're going to pay your bills. You're pretty far out there, even for the guys who do a lot of this stuff. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. That's what I'm talking about. Are you talking to me? If you like scary stories, you might like my show Weird Darkness. It's online only. It's actually a YouTube show. You can find it, though at WeirdDarkness.com. Got our birthday wrap-up coming up next, but first, ladies, if you just can't get enough coffee, well, there is a lipstick just for you. The cosmetic company Hard Candy. They have a coffee-flavored lipstick. Company founder Dinah Mohair uh, said the idea was women are drinking coffee in the morning and then putting on makeup. Well, we thought we might as well combine them. Each stick has 18 milligrams of caffeine, and wearers are supposed to get a hit each time they lick their lips. They currently have three different shades of beige. They have Café O Lip, Latte Lip, and Lipicino. Hey, you got to give them credit for uh, being creative on the names, don't you? Uh, they also have a red caffeinated color coming soon called Red Eye. You know, actually, I thought about this. This is a pretty good thing for the guys too, right? I mean, because I mean, you kiss your wife goodbye. And at the same time, you save money that you could have spent on Starbucks. Hey, more coffee, Java boy. Yes, it's coffee time. Coffee, 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 coffee. Cappuccino. Java, yes. Divert all emergency energy to my coffee machine. Whoa, I've got to lay off the coffee. Ha cha 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 cha. Now, brains, come and have a cup of coffee. Coffee can only make me nervous when I drink it. This is espresso, you know. It's like Coffeezilla. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Every day, once a day, give yourself a present. Two cups of good, hot, black coffee. I love coffee. I love tea. I love the Java Java. I've taken the liberty of anticipating your condition. I brought you orange juice, coffee, and air springs. Or do you need to throw up? Oh, you look like a man who could use more coffee. Hi, I'm Darren Marlar, and on this day in 1988, Radio Shack announced the Tandy 1000 SL computer. Nowadays, you mention this to anybody under the age of 30 and you get, what's a Tandy 1000? And in fact, you get, what's a Radio Shack? How it works. Today, we explore the computer. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, a computer is really not as difficult as you might think. Uh, if you look on a screen, all computers have the screen, and you'll probably see a little arrow. And then off to the side, there's the uh, what they call the mouse, where you put your hand on it and it, you know you move it around. Look, the arrow moves with it. See, it's wherever you go, that arrow goes. Now put it over something, and then you just push down on on the the mouse thing, and if you're on something that will open or change, it'll it'll do it. It just does it just like that. And then and then you can uh, use this keyboard that's just like a typewriter keyboard and type stuff. And there it is on the screen, you know, just like that. It just shows up on the screen. And, uh, oh, you know, you can play music on them or uh, uh, go to the Internet and look stuff up. Uh, it'll do all these things. It, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing, yeah, but it's really not that difficult uh, once you, you know, try it a couple of times. And uh, that's how a computer works. This has been How It Works. Today's birthday wrap up. It is July 27th, 2017. Celebrating birthdays today, we'll start from the bottom, work our way up. It is uh, Jonathan Rise Myers. You might remember him from Mission Impossible 3, Vanity Fair, or Alexander. He is 40 today. From the TV shows Yes, Dear, he also was, uh, played uh, assistant coach Luther Horatio Van Dam on the TV show Coach. Also a former spokesperson for Big Lots and brother to Dick Van Dyke, Jerry Van Dyke is 86. There's a lot of uh, really cool stuff that bounce dryer sheets uh, can be used for. I mean, I mean, other than freshening up the smell of your laundry. Well, if you'd like to see a list of what people have suggested you can use bounce dryer sheets for, it is a long list. Well, I've placed it in my blog for you. You can find that at DarrenMarler.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N. 
M-A-R-L-A-R.com. That's me, by the way. I'm Darren Marlar. Welcome to the show. You know, we all know that, that drinking and driving is dangerous, right? Well, almost as dangerous is thinking and driving. I'll have details on that coming up. Uh, you know, when it comes to moms and daughters, the apple apparently does not fall far from the tree. A recent study by Hallmark Cards reveals that at about age 32, women find that they're turning into their moms copying habits like worrying, stocking up on groceries, watching soap operas, and that's also when they begin to use the momisms, you know, like what your mom used to say like because I said so or uh, I'll give you something to cry about. Well, according to behavioral expert Judy James, it's perfectly natural as you age to begin to act like the most important person in your life. And you know, I know this the story was about the girls, but you know, I could see this in my life too. Every day I notice mannerisms in myself that remind me of my dad. The older I get, the more I am becoming him. From the windowsill, you stole mom's pie. Hey, I threw it at her car. Mom yells, what'd you do? I said. You just play the Xbox cause you lazy Don't do no chores, no thought of recourse Mom asked, why does he do silly stuff like that? I just looked at her and laughed and said My son's just like me And he's who I am My son's about living and giving a good nookie to his mom and right dog. Yeah, my son's just like me. My son's like me. A man is literally stuck in a life of crime in today's Moment of Duh coming up. Hi, I'm Darren Marlar, and uh, you can hear the show anytime at DarrenMarlar.com. Well, according to a new survey done by the American Psychological Association, researchers have found that it is almost as dangerous to think and drive as it is to drink and drive. They say even a simple task, just like, like visualizing each letter of the alphabet one by one while driving, that can cause drivers to fix their eyes on certain points for longer periods instead of glancing in their mirrors or at the dashboard like they would normally do while driving. Such dangers are likely as well uh, if the driver just thinks about the concerns of his or her day. So, all right, so let's say you get pulled over by the police officer for speeding then. What do you tell him? Do you say, gosh, sorry, officer, I just wasn't thinking? Or do you tell the officer, Gosh, sorry, officer, I was just thinking. Tonight, the world's most boring police chases come to life. May I see your driver's license, ma'am? Was I doing anything wrong, sir? You didn't come to a full stop at the intersection, ma'am. Be more careful next time, okay? Sure. Uh, you have a nice day now. You too. It's all the dull day-to-day -day monotony that gets cut out of all the other syndicated cop shows. The reason I pulled you over, sir, is because your right rear brake light seems to be out. Well, thank you, officer. Uh, I'll make sure I get that fixed. Okay. You have a good day now. Well, thank you. Tonight on the world's most boring police chases. If you want to get a few more laughs, every day I post a new episode of the Daily Dose of Weird News, and you can find that at dailydoseofweirdnews.com. I'm Darren Marlar. The 60-year-old leader of a polygamous community in Canada has been found guilty of having 25 wives. Man, I would say time's already been served for this guy. I mean, he has been punished enough. That sounds like a moment of duh right there, but today's moment of duh story, uh, literally a man stuck in a life of crime in today's moment of duh. An Israeli thief found himself literally stuck in a life of crime. During an attempt to steal a car radio, things went embarrassingly wrong for this individual. The thief, he was leaning through a car window in order to remove the car's stereo, but while doing so, he accidentally pressed a button and closed the vehicle's electronic windows, thus trapping himself. Uh, the car's owner, who was alerted by the crook's cries for help, he had to rescue the thief, but of course not before waiting for the police to arrive. Duh. Money can buy happiness, but there's a catch. I'll explain that uh, coming up here in just a few minutes. 
I'm Darren Marlar. If you'd like to be a part of the show, you can visit the radio show page at darrenmarlar.com and you can send me an email for the email bag. Uh, the website is darrenmarlar.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Well, according to a survey, 33% of Americans have dated somebody who turned out to be a creep, while 35% have dated someone they ended up calling a jerk. And 18% they've even dated somebody who turned out to be a uh, witch, we will say. Now, overall, according to the survey, 21% described being involved in a dating experience that turned out to be just plain toxic. Although those numbers did calm down for a few short years while Charlie Sheen was married. Can I have your attention, please? The Darren Marlar Radio Show. You are officially control. Charleston, West Virginia police, they knew there was a problem with drinking and driving during happy hour. Our Brain on Drug story is on the way. Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. If you'd like to keep up with everything I do, you can sign up for my newsletter. It's absolutely free. It's called The Marlar Sheet. You can sign up for it at DarrenMarlar.com. Well, apparently money can buy happiness, but there's a catch to that. You gotta keep appreciating things that your money buys you, says Texas Tech University researchers. Just having a nice car or a beautiful handbag, it's not gonna make you happy in the long run unless you continue to value it after you've had it for a while. So how to maintain fresh gratitude for your not-so-fresh belongings? Well, at least once a week, take a moment to reflect on why you fell in love with that possession in the first place. And I was thinking about this, this actually is probably a pretty good idea the next time you're mad at your spouse, too. What was the, what did you, what, what about them made you fall in love with them in the first place? What do you want to be when you grow up? Darren Marlar. I think he's cool. Mm -hmm. Play. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. Finally, a connection to the real world. This could be the beginning. You feel it? Feel it? Feel it? It's the Darren Marlar Radio Show. That's me. I'm Darren Marlar. A man in China who claimed he was abducted for two months, you know, kidnapped, he was eventually released by his captors because he ate too much. <laughs> you know, maybe that's why I have never been kidnapped. I mean, one look at me and the criminals would have to know they just can't afford the food budget. What do you get when you guzzle down sweets? Eating as much as an elephant eats. What are you at getting terribly fat? What do you think will come of that? I don't like the look of it. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, yeah, it's time for our brain on drug story. And uh, when I do this, you know, it's about people doing dumb things under the influence. But addiction, it's no laughing matter. If you or somebody you know does have an addiction, if you need help, there is a toll free number that you can call. It's 1 800 438 0380. You might want to write that down uh, if you know somebody who is having a problem with uh, drugs, alcohol. It's 1 800 438 0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline. 1 800 438 0380. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Charleston, West Virginia police, they knew there was a problem with drinking and driving during happy hour, but they never imagined their daytime sobriety checkpoint would net four drunken driving arrests before 8.30. Police conducted the happy hour sobriety checkpoint near a Moose Lodge beginning at 4 p.m., and the department issued 32 traffic citations and arrested a fifth person for driving on a revoked license for a previous DUI. Two people arrested for drunk driving attempted illegal U-turns before arriving at the checkpoints, but they were quickly stopped by police, too. The first drunken driving arrest was made just 20 minutes into the checkpoint at 4.20 p.m. Says a police spokesperson, this confirms our initial belief that, yeah, there is a problem. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Any questions? There's a sunken Nazi ship off of the coast of Iceland, possibly carrying $130 million worth of gold. But there is some question as to who gets that gold. Now, I vote me. <laughs> I'm Darren Marlar. Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. If you missed any part of the show, you can catch up at DarrenMarlar.com. Ah, all right, the, the art of old-fashioned letter writing. I mean, that's almost non-existent these days, isn't it? Who writes letters anymore? Well, a 28-year-old poet, Jody Ann Bickley, she plans to write one million letters. 
The letters are going to go to people who need a bit of advice or help uh, with something in their life. Uh, she would, uh, well, she would know she's overcome uh, her own suicidal tendencies. When she was 23, she was bitten by a tick and developed encephalitis, which is rare. That only happens about one in every 200,000 people who are bitten by a tick. Well, that led to a stroke, resulting in her being paralyzed on one side of her body. However, she taught herself to write again, and her project, One Million Lovely Letters, it is the continuation of this. She's been writing letters and notes to strangers since she was just 11 years old. In fact, you can email her um, if you want to and ask her to write a letter to you. And I've got her email address in my blog if you want to check it out at DarrenMarler.com. But you better be patient because she probably has quite a lot of letters to get through. On her website, Jody says of the project, to every other person on the planet, I'm going to write you a letter, a letter just to make the day a bit better or to remind you of the bloody amazing stuff about you that you've forgotten because we all forget once in a while. All right, so my question for her, though, is where is she going to get the $500,000 or so that she's going to need for stamps? Dude, listen, listen, listen. 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 What's your name? Jaron Marler. I'm going to make him stay in. The Jaron Marler Radio Show. I have no faith in this at all. If you'd like to hear past shows, you can find them anytime you'd like on my free mobile app. Just search for Marler House in your phone app store. It's available for uh, Apple or Android. Just look for Marler House in your phone app store. I'm going to leave you today with this thought. I don't mind the rat race, but I could do with a little more cheese. Good night, ladies. Good night, sir. Hit it, sweetheart. That's all, folks.